Hey guys, this is Spark Plus Ultra here, and this is my new what if. What if Deku had Brocco Leo Dios abilities? Boxing Beast. And I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe. Azuka Madoya was born a purebred boxer. His fighting skills were always up to the task, to the down streets, to in ring box. His family didn't care for him, but they have to do one simple task. Use the slime from what they had. You can explode on impact with enough force to shatter the strongest opponent. Suku was young and his armor protection of his explosions cannot be created yet. So then, but Zuku kept using it, kept training, hitting his fist like a seasoned veteran, making it look like he's like a near pro. He's like a massive fighter, knowing where to fight with his own two hands. Zuku Hardened Armor has been created. Still hurts him to do this. But in his young time, he has finally got the slime on, making it adaptive to fighting with all forms of attacks. And here we are in Japan, Tokyo, where all of the seasoned veterans in boxing is here. It's Azuku Midoriya, the champ himself, facing off a boxer from the QB. Yay. Now, is this newbie, newbie guy here going to be a challenge for the boxing beast himself or is he a next dead meat for this over flying monster of a boy here yeah. Zuku was a fifth through eight year champ even in his young year he was a fighter and here comes the ring announcer Weighing over 140 pounds. He is the boxing beast of this ring. He is Zuko Midoriya. And giving a arm up. Showing he's the champ. Now fight! Zuko Midoriya gets into a unique stance. And the young buff new boxer was confused and then he throws out a jab a fast one this one was a fly and Zuku and know this that his speed is different from his but that doesn't make matter Zuku then uses a combo a feint and a uppercut and there goes the Suku's tricks. He's the boxing beast that can observe the opponent with noting his fighting skills. Suku was not going to be taken down that easily. Then the new boxer swerves different ways, making him look faster and Zuku sees after images and Zuku says hmm so that's what he's doing but not a smart one for a seasoned veteran and Zuku looks and calms his breathing and hears the footstep clocking him at a mere moment, the boxer was surprised 
And Suki says, not bad. Need to work though. Knocking him out with just two blows. And he's out! Everyone, the Boxing Beast has still retained his title reign. And the riff raises his hand and showing he's the still champ. But then, Suku gets to ask to get the microphone. And Suku talks. Um, yeah, this is the champ. I'm going to relinquish the title. My title reign has been gone. And all the fans were shocked because they seen how well he performed so well in the ring that they thought he wouldn't give up the chance. And the paparazzi and news reporters were Warming him, and they ask, Suku, why did you relinquish the title? Suku, why would you give up boxing? And Suku, why aren't you responding to us? And Suku gives out a one explain. I just quit and giving the news reporters one word. The news reporters Sw still swarming. Then, the next day, Suku goes into the gym and jumps and gets ready, waiting for his for a person. And then, <laughs> he's here and opens the door and sees All Might. Toshi, it's good to see you. And All Might says, <laughs> It's very nice to see you again, young Midoriya. Didn't expect you to quit your boxing ring. And Suku says, I just needed the experience to battle. I never said I was going to be in it for a long time. And All Might says, true, but you were amazing. In that puddle. Eh, I was not really that interested in that one. He was a newbie to me. Well, judging from his fighting career, it's likely good reasons. You're a slugger, and he was an outboxer. You would have been outclassed, but you kept your cool. Use a different type of style. A in or the Swarmer. Swarmers have pretty good defense. And the Sluggers have pretty good offense. Using both together, they would make a unstoppable mix attack. And Ziku says, eh, well, it was my brute force was Mostly due to my own train with the explosion. Suku wrap, unwraps his arms and All Might says, So, that's the strength that was holding in. Yep, hang on, I'll get the boxing bag. And Suku grabs a punching bag and lifts it up and hung hanging and all night says hmm then Suku swings a right hook hitting the back explosions crackle and taking out a punching bag with just the explosive punch and Suku stretches his arms and says, It's been a while since I didn't hold back for that. Hmm, I see that your punches are getting stronger. Stronger? That's an understatement. They're getting powerful by the minute. But it wouldn't have been like that if 
you were not there to save me back then. And All Might says, uh, I remember that. Okay. Having a flashback where Zuku was young. Zuku was gun dinged up by a few more people. And All Might saved him. And Zuku was looking at All Might inspired. He wasn't expired by boxing. His family didn't came or help him, but All Might helped and he inspired him being a hero. And All Might says, hmm, well, I do want you to help out with somebody. And Zuku gets a little interested. Who is that? This, this young man is Mirio Toga. He's a little older than you, but he'll, he's still a candidate for a one for all. And Zuku says, Wait, seriously? <laughs> what part does he have? You'll find out. Zuku goes to Night Eye's headquarters and meeting Night Eye. And Bubble Girl gets baffled on seeing the boxing beast. Oh my god, oh my god, he... It's him! The boxing beast! I wasn't expecting him to get... Come here. And Night Eye says, Zuka, it's good to see you. Bubble Girl says, Huh? You know him, boss? Night Eye say, Of course. He's the person that wants to be, to help Mirio on training a bit. Bubble Girl says, What? He's the special guest? You should have told me. No. Mm, that's the problem. Uh, no. It's just, I'm a big fan of your skills. And Izuku says, Um, thanks. I just fight in the ring. I'm only having a spar with him. What? Miriam? What's the... And Night Eye says, Oh, it's nothing special. And Night Eye takes Zuku to Miriam. It's good to have you here, Zuku. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anybody to be a fan here. Well, don't mind my colleague. She's still new to seeing a fan. And Zuku looks around. So, what happened with you and All Might? And All Might was Night Eye size. It was a degree disagreement. But we're trying to find a candidate for one for all. And Zuku says, what does that do with me and Mario? Hmm, it's because you two show different different outcomes. But I want to see who's more worthy, you or Mario. I prefer Mario, but you show lots of different things. So, we'll see who wins. Then Mario is in the sparring session, and Zuku was there. And Muriel says, Oh, wow! I'm not only Mr. Beast himself? And Nai says, Yeah. But don't get, don't let him see you in your, take this serious, like you do in battles. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be hard to not take him serious. He is a boxing beast. And Suku says, It's nice to meet you, Mirio. And Mirio says, It's an honor to fight you. Suku gets into a fighting stance. And Mirio 
gets ready. They both start to run. Mario gets ready a punch, but phases through. And Zuku says, what the, is his quirk? Termination? Mario says, whew, that was close. Didn't expect to be using my quirk that fast. Mario grabs Zuku's arm and throws him. Zuku lands on the ground, but got gets up. And Zuku then looks at Mario. Hmm. Can't outpace him. I can do this. Zuku does a takes off his gloves and unwraps his bandage. And Muriel says, uh, what are you doing? And Zuko says, making it even. And hitting his knuckles both together. Muriel sees explosions coming out from both sides. And Muriel was getting into a stance. And Zuko says, don't blink. Hitting the ground with his different sides. Mirio phases through the ground and Zuku slags up for his slime. Zuku looks around and punches the ground and hitting the slime once again saying, you can't hide forever. And Mirio holds his ears back from the explosions. Ah, what the? This quirk allows him to resist the explosions and hit them down, popping up in the air. Suku says, found you, and goes for a punch. And Mirio phases through. Mirio was going to face through the ground, but then the slime becomes red. And Mirio gets surprised and says, uh oh. And explosions come up. Sounds of vibration in the air gets hit with it. And Mirio uh, becomes physical and having his ears near death. And Zuku says, okay. We're done. And Mirio says, what? Oh, right. You're death now. Because of my explosions. Or not. Just be lucky. And Zuku says, so, not I. Am I worthy now? And seeing different outcomes. Out of 85% of the time, Zuku wins. And Mirio says, yes. You are worthy. And I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. See you next time. Plus I'll try.